Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will be creating an FAQ bot uh, using QA Maker and Azure Bot Service. So let's uh, directly open uh, the QA Maker uh, web portal that is qnmaker.ai. So what it basically does it it's create an uh, database it creates an uh, knowledge you can say a knowledge base a database of your FAQ uh, section of your website FAQ section you may have your website FAQ page or you may have some documents wherein uh, there would be a question answer uh, uh, a format or uh, a document and basically a, uh, a simple FAQ sections uh, it just extract those URL it just extract uh, the question answers from your source which could be an URL which could be a document it's try to create a database and it provides an endpoint and then this endpoint we can uh, uh, add it into our azure bot service and then connect it to different channels so if you come if you click on this documentation over this website you can see an overall uh, how it exactly this q a maker works again it's an uh, from microsoft cognitive service it's still in preview but it's very smart so as you can see there are uh, some sources like URL and PDF document it extract the question answers and create a knowledge base and it provides an endpoint which then gets connected to the Microsoft bot framework or any other bot platforms and then uh, could be exposed or could be uh, connected to different channels like Skype telegram and so on uh, so uh, let's start up with creating something and uh, in this video uh, I will be creating uh, an FAQ bot uh, for this MVP uh, website so as you can see there is uh, this uh, Microsoft MVP website has a FAQ section uh, wherein there are some 13 to 14 questions so let's create a bot for this let's go to QA maker and uh, sign up with your Microsoft ID account or any uh, account any uh, email ID uh, and click on create new service now this is very simple and straightforward process uh, wherein you have to just provide a proper input and the rest thing will be taken care of by the Microsoft or uh, by QA maker preview portal so uh, there are uh, let's provide a service name or uh, this could be a just for the, your service reference name so let's set, uh, have it uh, as mvp faq bot this is you this will be your knowledge base or your database name uh, now there are three options one is uh, you can directly pass on the faq url of your website uh, you can upload a files so of for this format from this format with a, a specific format like of question and answers and uh, If you don't have an URL or if you don't have a document you can directly start up with uh, uh, Entering your manual question and answer section. We'll be looking into this uh, So as of now, let's copy this URL And enter it over here so once you have added the URL, click on create. It takes few seconds. It will extract all the question and answers from the URL and create a nice database. Great. As you can see, it added all the questions over here in this section and answers in this section. It has all the 14 question and answers you can very well edit this answers you can very well uh, edit add new questions delete some questions you can play around with this database it's very simple very simple so it has added one uh, uh, like just as a kind of uh, sort of greeting to your bot like hi hello how are you so it has added as hi so let's change this to welcome to mvp faq bot Okay, um, so once you have added this, uh, once you have uh, modified or added with any of uh, with this question, just after your any modification, just click on the save and train. So this will update the uh, our uh, database or you can say this knowledge base. Let's test this. It has a very nice interface where you can just uh, test your uh, 
knowledge base which is being created over here so it has started with hi now as you can see if i type hello it's not necessary at all uh, everyone would be greeting with hi or so if it's uh, type on hello it's giving no good match found in the kb so for this what we can do is if it is uh, let's type again hi so this is the answer right welcome to mvp faq bot but as uh, we saw, we, someone can say hello, someone can say hey and all. So you can add this alternative inputs like for this, uh, there could be hello or there could be hey something. And for all these three things, the response would be welcome to MVP FAQ bot. So once you have added this, click on save and retrain take few seconds and now let's type hello the answer is here hey so answer is here so this uh the this we can ab update the input we can also uh try to uh give the some different questions for the same answers we can try to give some different responses it lists all the responses over here it try to find out it try to uh uh what we say uh get the best uh, possible match response to our input and we can see all those changes in again in this section as we added this hey hello over here so once you have added everything uh, with all those uh, like question and answers let's go to the settings sections once you can see okay we can change the name from here which we gave through our service name the url is are over here we can add more urls we can again add some service add some files uh, uh to this so that the the knowledge base or the database should grow and becomes uh, a very authentic one uh again we can share this knowledge base with some uh, other users also so that they can access this database and do some modifications or edit uh, in this section so uh, let's uh, once done with these things let's click on publish so as i said uh, it gives an, uh, a small summary like this is the url being used and the number of questions this was the editorial part so once you publish this it will give you an uh, end point as you can see it uses this cognitive service q a maker and this is uh, the url or this is sorry this is the end point which has now been access uh, exposed so let's use this um, uh, end point uh, let's quickly go to uh, bot service uh, azure portal uh, let's create an azure bot service click on new ai bot service your bot a name let's be mvp faq bot demo great uh, you can create a new resource group or can select from existing one pin it to dashboard click on create and let's wait for getting it deployed so in few uh, seconds it will create uh, it will deploy an uh, or azure bot service so it has some templates in the c sharp and node.js and along with this five templates uh, for Lewis, for question and answers single uh, dialog box and all so for as we are using uh, the question answers knowledge base let's select this question and answer and click on next now we need to uh, authorize uh, this bot to use that uh, particular knowledge base or that particular database so let's create click on this create microsoft app id and password so this will open up and uh, new window another tab sorry uh, with the app name with our app name that is mv uh, this was our app name let's copy the app id go over here paste this we need to have password you can go there click generate an app password copy this click. paste it over here agree to the terms and click on create bot so now this will communicate with our q a maker and as you can see it has uh, listed all the knowledge base which is being associated with my account so as we have created this mvp faq bot click on this click on ok 
so now this will take fewer minutes to provision our bot this will add deploy the things behind the scene it will deploy the app insights component and once uh, it's been deployed uh, this page will appear wherein we can uh, edit the code we can download our source code and you open it into visual studio uh, and you can add it with our uh, repository github or vsts and uh, uh, automate our ci cd so you can just open up this online code editor here we can see the code so here it would be into dialogue this basic q a maker so you guys can see we have choose the c sharp it's just and simple it's just passing the subscription key over here and the q a knowledge base id uh, let's come back over here we can test it through our portal the same thing which we did hi we replied with the same again you can ask him hello great ask some question what is microsoft mvp award this is the question set from the faq page and let's see his answer okay okay so it's working fine uh let's go to channels so as of now it's it is uh running into skype and opening web chat it can also be added to bling cortana um, and different channels like telegram and all uh let's uh, click this web chat let's add this into our web app so you can change the icon you can set uh the, the ui from over here let's copy this iframe code uh let's paste it over here we need we will be needing this key don't worry i will be deleting this after the video and let's paste the key over here let's take this source so i've already created a simple application or a project with html page uh, it's a simple uh, html page wherein this web chat will be added so the source will, i will be copying over here and let me commit the changes so that it get deployed i have created a web app uh, wherein i have added this html file and i have added the deployment option as github so once i have deployed this uh, it would have got deployed to this website i will be providing this url so that you can also test it from your end so let's now type as hi and let's see what the response is great hello okay uh, let's copy some question from here how does microsoft select its mvp so answer is a hundred million technical community participants let's click it over here of 100 million technical community so uh, you saw within uh, 10 to 15 minutes under 15 minutes we created uh, the knowledge base through QA maker we created the bot service we added those uh, knowledge base to our azure bot service we deployed the code over uh, on the live application which is running live on azure on public cloud microsoft azure right now so i will be providing this url i will be providing uh, a step by step article on or how to uh, create this how to make this and will provide the url into this video's description so hope you have enjoyed this video kindly share uh, uh, this video uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, do subscribe to my channel because i will be adding more such videos like now we did it with the uh, url the next video i will be uploading it would be with some document as a source and so on uh, like how to add the link and everything so you can get you can connect with me you can also mail me at this id you can connect with me in this uh, below social channels youtube twitter linkedin and all thank you for watching and happy azure coding bye bye